Hello folks, my name is Muhammad Mizbaudin and I am e-education provider of uh, medical coding. I am teaching you about the certification card, certified professional coder and uh, in today's class we will learn about integumentary system subsection that is debridement. So in this section this is uh, actually related to skin procedures. So let's start. So what is debridement? It's a removal of dead tissue until the viable tissue appears. How this procedure happens? So we need to know this uh, debridement first and what is the procedure the physician do to the patient who is suffering from dead tissues. So for example, I have pasted a picture here just to understand and make simple for you. This is uh, the disease condition of eczematose. So what uh, person will feel? who is suffering from this disease he or she will be suffering from inflammation of skin also accompanied by intensive itching or burning so this is the reason it will uh, uh, extend all over the skin so what physician will do for this kind of patients he will rip and wrap the area which is infected and he will anesthetize that area and uh, he will clean uh, the area which is infected then he removes or cut the dead tissue by using surgical instruments like scalpel or scissors so these are the instruments he will use or uh, there are different other uh, instruments surgical instruments which may he will use for depends on the type of uh, disease condition by using that he will remove the dead tissues until he sees the healthy bleeding on the skin edges after seeing the healthy bleeding uh, he will apply the dressing he will control the bleeding and the dressing will be applied to that procedure for the disease condition so this uh, services debridement services also reported for injuries that is that will be open fractures or dislocations if, if a patient came with open fracture so there will be some uh, foreign material and uh, he will do debridement both uh, okay he may do both the procedures also these services are reported for fractures infection wounds and chronic ulcers what coder need to do what is the coder's part physician will be documenting debridement procedure he has done and coder medical coder he need to identify or to follow this kind of so these are the guidelines to follow to code the debridement procedure so what coder has to do first he need to identify he must identify body site where the necrotized soft tissue is located so location is important that will be mentioned by or documented by the physician and the second is he has to look up for percentages of skin infected and uh, the percentages of uh, skin infected is divided by physician so the percentages will be documented by physician okay no need to worry about the how to calculate percentages of that i previously said about the open fracture so here the third is if the patient has come with uh, open fracture or uh, dislocation so uh, on that basis so he's, he has to look up for depth of layers now what is depth of layers what is depth it is a level of infection coder has to identify the depth of the layer no need to worry about the level so physician will document the level you can see here the first is superficial layer epidermis the second is dermis after the subcutaneous tissue muscle will come after the muscle muscle fascia will come okay then that then after that bone appears so these are the level of infection so coder has to identify what is the depth of the debridement and uh, this is also the similar body surface based on this body surface depth should be identified first and the square centimeters also square centimeters will be mentioned by physician in the report so no need to worry about the square centimeters the physician will mention the square centimeter and the last and important uh, uh, guideline for the debridement subsection is do not combine sums from different depths for example skin is one organ suppose on the left hand side he is debrided with uh, just dermis physician debrided dermis and uh, on the other side he debrided with muscle left side is 20 square centimeters and the right side is 20 square centimeters so we should not add these two two depths then again depth will be depth is mentioned as muscle 
physician has divided left side is 20 square centimeters and the right side is 20 square centimeters then coder has to uh, identify that this is the same level and uh, uh, he has to code according to the level of depth he may combine that this will be the 40 square centimeters we will see the cpt book for this for this course this is the debridement in cpt book this is 1100 i previously explained about this uh, disease con condition up to 10% of body surface debridement of extensive eczematous or infected skin up to 10% of body surface so this is uh, one code if the patient is having more than 10% of if the patient was uh, debrided with more than 10% uh, like uh, 15% so these two codes will come it is add on code for this so 11001 the description is each additional 10% of the body surface or part thereof part thereof means any part of the body so this is uh, the add on code for this this code will not come first until this code okay this is the first code after the after the coder identifies that body surface percentage is more than 10 percent then this code will come then so there is a semicolon what is semicolon in this description till here the description will be same for this code also i will just read and this is uh, 11000 debridement of extensive eczematous or infected skin what is the specialty of this code up to 10 percent of body surface this is uh, the uh, specialty of this code okay then 11001 so how to read this code 11001 debridement of extensive eczematous or infected skin there is a gap here see there is a gap here so this this each additional 10% of the body surf surface or part thereof is continuation of this so this is the difference of this and this code and uh, this is uh, about the semicolon so these are the debridement codes of disease condition eczematis 11004 so here the depth depth is mentioned in the uh, description so uh, you can uh, consider this code up to muscle fascia if the physician has debrided the tissues uh, necrotizing soft tissues up to the muscle fascia then uh, these codes will come here there is semicolon okay and uh, here is here the site location is mentioned and an anatomical site is mentioned so coder need to identify in the report whether it is external genitalia and perineum what is external genitalia it is uh, uh, related to female reproductive system mainly vulva what is vulva again vulva is the uh, external sex uh, organ of female which consists of uh, labia majora labia minora uh, female sex organ so this is related to vulva if you google about vulva it will show you what is uh, external genitalia and what is perineum it is uh, middle part of external sex organ and anus so this is perineum this is the location if uh, these are mentioned this code will be assigned 11004 and what is 11005 this code is related to abdominal wall and with or without facial closure it means the physician will uh, close the fascia muscle fascia so for that purposes this code will be assigned how we can read this code description 11005 debridement of skin subcutaneous tissue muscle and fascia for necrotizing soft tissue infection then this code will be continued abdominal wall with or without facial closure because here it is a semicolon 11006 till here the code is same for this code also and anatomical sites are mentioned that is external genitalia perineum and abdominal wall suppose if the patient was uh, debrided on these three locations so this code will be assigned by the coder and here if orchiectomy is performed use so this is the different procedure orchiectomy this is uh, removal of testicles like that so this will be the different part of the different pro procedure so this code will be 
used for that procedure. So in this we will not use this code. For this procedure this code will not come. Remember there is another instruction here if testicular transplantation is performed. So later I will discuss. See the uh, code uh, debridement of abdominal wall in the picture. So this is related to this code abdominal wall. So the physician will mention the margin. This is margin of dissection and open abdominal wall with necrosis. So what is debrided? Abdominal wall. This is the code. Then comes uh, 11008. This is uh, add-on code for this debridement procedure. This is the removal. If, uh, if the patient uh, came with uh, infection of mesh and the mesh prosthetic mesh was removed then this code will be assigned okay here is the example uh, you can see chronic or recurrent mesh infection or necrotizing soft tissue infection so this should be listed separately in addition to code for primary procedure without primary procedure this code will not come this should be used in conjunction with these codes 11004 to 11006 this will be used first and later this code will come so again 11010 what is this what is the description of this code huh, this is uh, previously I explained about this that uh, this is related to open fracture if the patient came with uh, the open fracture or open dislocation and there will be a foreign material in that so this will be included removal of foreign material and the debridement these two procedures are included in this one code so here the level is the depth is skin and subcutaneous tissue this is related to open fracture and uh, removal of foreign material these two kind of procedures are have been mentioned in this one code so code on it to identify the depth depth means level of infection so here it is mentioned till here the code will be same for this and this code the code will be same for example uh, the patient came with open fracture or open dislocation with uh, some foreign material in it and and the physician debrided that and remove the falling material and the depth of the debridement is bone what code will come this is the last level of the depth so last level of the depth will be coded 11012 if the physician mentioned up to the level of muzzle this code will come if the physician mentioned up to the level of muzzle fascia so this code will come just he mentioned subcutaneous tissue then only this code will come you will not mention this all these three if he if the physician mentioned the level is bone then only this code will come only one code will come not all this uh, you will include first this second this then third this if you see the sign plus it means it is add-on code for the add-on code only the primary code will come first and the add-on code will be secondary coded secondarily so here there is no plus sign here so these are the only codes single codes will come and uh, this is very important code and maybe and it will be asked in the examination now that this is the important code and uh, you have uh, other code 11042 and the description is debridement subcutaneous tissue any part uh, as I said the skin is the only organ single organ so any part of the body anywhere if the debridement is done by uh, the physician what is the depth the depth is subcutaneous tissue so the physician will mention 20 square centimeters so this this will come 18 square centimeters this code will come or 10 10 square centimeter means also this code will come okay if he mentioned 21 then this add-on will will be used with this code first this code will come then this code will come and 11043 this is the next level okay muzzle line or fascia just remember depth is different for this code and this code remaining all is same 
this is up to the level of subcutaneous tissue this is up to the level of muscle or fascia if physician mentioned muscle then this code will come or physician mentioned in the report muscle fascia then this code only this code will come okay you can read in the bracket includes epidermis dermis and subcutaneous tissue perform this is first 20 square centimeters or less if he mentioned 19 square centimeters of muscle fascia is de debrided then you will assign this code if he mentioned uh, 20 square centimeters of uh, muscle is debrided so this only this code will come if the physician mentioned 21 square centimeters of uh, muscle or muscle fascia is debrided then these two codes will come 11043 and 11046 and please remember this code will be used along with this code in conjunction with this code in order to code this 11046 you have to code it for code 11043 first and this is the last level the remaining procedure is same so here he mentioned bone 20 square centimeters or less level is different depth of the infection is bone so 20 square centimeter or less you will code this if 21 square centimeter then you will code this code so this is all about uh, debridement what is modifier modifier is a code that provides the means by which the reporting physician can indicate that a service or procedure that has been performed has been altered remember modifier means altering altered by some specific circumstance but has not changed in its definition or code so the code description is not changed the definition of the code remains same but uh, you just remember this okay then here today we will learn about modifier 59 this is just uh, you need to remember distinct procedural service what is distinct procedure procedural service remember if two different procedures are uh, performed by the physician modifier 59 will be appended you need to check the same dose i mean date of service should be same and the two different procedures should be mentioned okay then we will append this modifier that is 59 modifier 59 we have uh, today we have question and answer for practice you can uh, open the cpt book and uh, and uh, answer this question pause the video and answer this question the answers are so you will report 11044 because you have to add 10 plus 4 14 square centimeters then only one code will come report with a single code 11044 and the description of the code 11044 is debridement bone 20 square centimeters or less so this is just 14 one so 14 square centimeters you will use only one code then the second code for the second question the answers are 11042 11045 why because these are the wounds both are wounds which are debrided one is abdominal wound the side is at abdominal wound and the second is thigh wound so both are same level so this will become 26 square centimeters so you will use 11042 this will be the primary code 20 square centimeters and for 6 square centimeters or part thereof you will use each additional code 11045 about the third question if all wounds were debrided on the same day this is different level this is different level so you will use 59 modifier both are different procedures right this is uh, bone and subcutaneous tissue so if these are these are done on the same day for a single patient for the, for the same patient same day these are two different procedures then you will append 59 modifier and for any doubts or practicing questions you can request me on uh, cpc trainer at protonmail.com and uh, please don't uh, forget to mention the section name and uh, thanks for watching this video please subscribe my channel like share and comment